Okay, so I got a question from a couple students asking for help with this problem. Looks like 70% of the class is ready for this topic. It's called setting up the math for a one-step quantitative problem. So I've already pasted uh, a copy of this over onto, let's click on that. Um, let's click on this, okay? And this is what it is, setting up the math for a one-step quantitative problem. And I've already copied uh, a picture of that over onto my whiteboard so we can sort of work on it here, okay? So let's go here, I think, if I go here. I think that'll leave that there. All right, so here we go. Suppose we need uh, seven meters of a grade 70 toe chain. So um, my length, uh-oh, my marker is sort of stretched, okay? Let's see if we can make this work. 0.7 meters of grade 70 toe chain. What does this have to do with it? Um, I don't think anything at all, but let's just say sort of my grade is equal to 70. And I don't think it has anything to do with it, but let's put it there. Which has a diameter, okay, of three, three, uh, seven, three, three eighths of an inch. Sorry about my handwriting, okay. And it weighs, uh, it's weight, uh, oh man. Its weight is equal to 2.16 kilograms per meter. All right. How would you calculate the mass of this much chain? Got it. Okay. So the mass looks like all my masses. I'm, I'm looking over here for some masses. That's at length. I don't know what that is. Here's a length. That's inches. And here's a mass. Okay. All right. So. I'm supposed to calculate the mass of the chain. And as I've told you um, when we work together in class, first thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to put the units of my answer. And the only mass that I'm given here is kilograms, okay? So now I'm going to try to write the straightest line I can. And I'm going to set up. It looks like it's just a one-step quantitative problem, but I don't know what, how much I'm going to set up here, okay? Now I'm going to come over to my answers. Okay, well, I'm sorry, not yet, not yet. I've got kilograms as my answer. I'm going to put kilograms here because it's here. That's the reason why, right? I know it's in my answer, so it's got to be in the numerator of my of my of my solution. Now I come over here and say, what is grams related to? Aha! Looks like grams is related to meters. So I'm going to put meters here. All right. Now there's no meter in my answer, so meters is going to have to cross off somewhere. And in order to cross off, it's going to have to be in the top. So I'm going to say meters. All right, now I've already used this number. I'll, I'll put the number in in just a minute. I'm setting up the solution, right? Setting up the math. Okay, now I've already used that one. I don't want to use that one again. I don't want to use inches, I don't think. Oh, you know what? This is the length. This is kilograms per meter of the length, right? We need a length of this, and this is kilograms per meter. And this is a diameter. So I think I'm going to use this one up here. And it looks like there it is, meters, seven meters. I'm good, right? Now let's put the numbers in. Looks like this is going to be 7.0 meters. And there's, it has no denominator, so we'll put a one there. And it looks like this is 2.16. 2.16 kilograms per one meter. All right, and that's it. Because my meters cross off. And my kilograms I'm left with, right? And that's what I wanted. So that it was, in fact, only one step. I see that now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type this in. It's going to look like two fractions. 7.0. 2.16. And the units are switching colors on here, aren't I? Kilograms per meter, per one meter. And this is going to be meters over one. And that's it. Those are my two two answers. So I'm going to flip back and forth now between my screens so I can write that in there. Oh, and this, what I'm supposed to do is set the math up, but don't do any of it, right? So I'm just coming, going to come here and say that times that. And the first one, actually the first one's not even a fraction, right? Let's look at that. First one's not even a fraction. So it's just seven point meters. So I'm going to say 7.0 meters. See what I got here? 
and this is going to be 2.16 kilograms per meter. I think that's good enough. I might be supposed to, I might have to put one meter down there, but I think that's good enough. Kilograms per meter. That's what I was given here, right? Now, will this work out in the end? I'll cross off my meters and I'll be left with kilograms, and that's what I wanted, a mass. Right? So let's check this out. Okay, it worked. So in review, what I did was I came here and I figured out I needed a mass, and I started out with a mass. I'm going to do this in blue, okay? I needed a mass, and so I, I put that there before I even started thinking about it. And then I put it here right away because I knew I needed it in my solution. And then I went over to my question stem, and I got all my data, and I said, what was kilograms related to? Kilograms was related to, and there it was right there. Kilograms is related to meters. All right, and I just canceled things out after that. So hopefully that's helpful. This is exactly like the picket fence method I've done in so many other videos. And um, if, if you want more, you need to ask. All right, good luck to you.